A ministerial nominee, Balarabi Abbas uh, Lawal, collapsed on Wednesday while being screened on the floor of the Senate. Uh, during the interrogation, Lawal, who was obviously exhausted, abruptly passed out. Concerned senators raced to his aid and promptly called for help. He was taken to the hospital at the time this report was filed and his condition remains unknown. Abbas Lawal from Kaduna State was being screened alongside uh, Jamila Bio Ibrahim from Kwara State and Mr. Ayodili Olawandi from Ondu State. Let's cross live now to Abuja where Omo Bazwai is standing up to give us more update. Omo, it's good to have you with us. What are we learning uh, about this incident so far? Um, a couple of minutes ago that um, uh, Balarabi Abbas is, uh, has been um, stabilized and that um, uh, right now he's back inside the chambers. Um, the, we, we, I understand that doctors were called in from the paramedic unit in the National Assembly here and they quickly rushed in and that um, they've been able to check him properly um, to say that um, he's, he's normalized to an extent but we haven't seen the doors of the Senate chambers open to us again. We really don't know what is going on inside but it's just the information I heard now that um, the doctors were quickly called as soon as um, you know, um, he fell and um, he had been stabilized to an extent. We don't know if the Senate will put him back on the podium to be able to continue with his um, screening and uh, confirmation. I also you know, gathered that um, he was um, fasting, you know, before coming for this particular exercise today. And maybe that, to an extent, had had a toll on him, you know, but that is all that we know for now. Uh, but right now, um, outside of the chamber, that's where we are still standing. Um, there is um, the, the the confusion is still, you know, um, sort of enveloped everywhere around us. Um, so at the moment, we know that um, uh, good enough that uh, Balara Ben Musa, from what I heard, is is back on his seat. But um, we don't know if they said they will put him back on the podium to continue with his confirmation and screening. Well, Omar, it's very interesting, you know, what just happened. And I'm sure a lot of people are confused. But I don't know if you've been able to have access to any of the lawmakers. Maybe they've reacted or said anything about this incident. Yes, I have. I have. I, I, I have tried. If I have tried, if, you, if you're looking behind me, maybe I could just move, shift a little bit away from the, the lens of the camera so that you can see. I am actually standing um, inches away from the front door of the chambers of the Senate, and 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 then and then and then uh, you could see that there are people waiting anxiously out there. Uh, some lawmakers have come out; they've been moving around, but we've been trying to to speak with them, but um, none of them is availing us with any information. Um, they're not saying anything to anybody. They're just going in and come out, rushing and come back. That's what they've been doing. All right, Omo. Um, yes, you said uh, Mr. Balarabi Lawal is stabilized at the moment. But uh, if he's not strong enough to go back in there and uh, continue with the uh, screening, um, what becomes of him? Is it possible to have another session uh, solely dedicated to his uh, uh, screening, as it were? Yes. I'm, 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 ve I'm very sure if um, if he's not able to continue today, um, going by the look of things, um, it may not. It's not completely out of the way. There's no um, no hard and fast rule about um, whether he, you know if the Senate can no longer continue with him. They can uh, reasonably fix for him, you know, maybe another time. I'm sure the reason why they quickly had to want to do this is because he just wanted to settle the issue of ministerial screening that started. Um, since August, you know, they just wanted to ev get everything done and dusted with. The name of Balarabi uh, Abbas was sent in yesterday to to the Senate, and they quickly just wanted to work on this, you know, today. You know, and if you remember, he's the person who has been sent in to the place, um, uh, take the place of the former governor of um, Kaduna State. That's speaking about, you know, El Rufai. I'm very, very sure that if. Um, going by what the lawmakers are saying, if they know that he's not going to be um, stable enough to stand before them to continue to uh, possibly defend, you know, his nomination before them, they might, 
um, reasonably we want to give him another you know uh, date or another appointment thank you so much for joining us we'll expect more updates from you as soon as you get it thank you so much for joining us on newsday